This is the Virginia Desmos calculator for our standards of learning test. This is typically used in Math 8 and Advanced Math 7 here in Virginia. I know it's the Virginia version because it is a green bar across the top and it states the words Virginia up here. Um, if you are on the one that has the black bar going across the top, just know you're on the generic one so you ha may have additional features. So order of operations is one topic with expressions that we can easily get things mixed up in. So the cool thing about the Desmos calculator is I can type in my problem just like I see it. So in the problem that I have, this is what it looks like. Um, and now I have this caution sign because I have letters and I don't know what they are. So it says to, tells me to define them. So what that means is on the next line, I'm going to say A equals, in my case, A is 1, B is 3, and C is 4. Um, and you will notice now I no longer have that caution or error symbol up here. It tells me that my answer is 9. So you will see that it automatically does it. So if I want to do another one, so I'm going to delete these. So to delete them, I'm just hitting the backspace button. Um, one of the tricky things that they give us is they give us square root. So to do that, I'm going to click here and square root of C. You have to click the right arrow button to get out from underneath. Otherwise, as you keep typing, it's still typing underneath. Hit the right arrow button. Okay, and then I have the absolute value. So that's what these bars are. Absolute value of 3 times R. Okay, and then you hit the right arrow button again so my absolute value bars can close. Plus 2. So again, caution sign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to type in what C is. C is 25. R equals negative 10. And then it tells me that my problem equals 37. So the one thing I have to be super careful with when I'm doing expressions or um, order of operations is fractions. So in this case, I have A minus C on my fraction. So if I type A minus C and then I hit the fraction bar over here, you'll notice it only puts C on top of the fraction. So what I need to do when I have a fraction is I need to start by clicking on it. So now I'm going to type A minus C over 2W. So then again, caution. So I'm going to tell it what A is. A is 0. C equals 30. And W equals 15. And so then it tells me my answer is negative 1 to the problem. So this should help you with order of operations and evaluating expressions.